Dude, I just hit my effing ear on the, Oh, What's up everybody, Tabitha here. So, we got a fallen tree. It's raining, it's approximately uh, uh, two degrees. What's up, Antero? You wanna be on my YouTube channel? What's up, dude? I know. Me too. I heard the I heard the uh, fire engine horn, and then I went outside and I saw a bunch of people gathered out here, and this tree fell down, guys. It's a pine tree. It's probably like 50 feet. How much would you say it weighs? Weighs approximately. I know. I want to go over there, guys. I want to go over there to get the news footage. I want to show you guys how the tree pulled the ground from underneath it and fell on top of this car. Fell on top of that car, crushed it. My friend Andrew got some really good footage. But yeah, that little hill, you see how that's just rooted? Oh my God, that thing is damaged. Is there any sexy firefighters over here? Let's scope out the area. Uh-oh, is this one, does this one have potential? Sir, excuse me, can you turn around? I just need to see if I, I need saving, and so I came outside. They're probably like, what the fuck is she doing? Apparently they have a tree service coming over here to uh, dig up the tree. Yeah, dude, gnarly. That's a fucking heavy ass tree, and it just got totally rooted. Wow. Any hotties? Let's check, let's double check. Don't look at me, oh. Dude, guys, I want them to do an interview for my freaking YouTube channel. Can you excuse me? Can you do? Are you? Can you do an interview? Uh, Why? Will anybody do one? You can't say what happened. I know. But nobody's cooperating with my interview. They're just afraid of screen time. So basically, what we have here is we got a tree. I don't know. It fell at approximately 5:30 p.m. What happened was I heard like the fire truck horn, and I looked outside. Didn't look exciting. So then I walked outside because I saw more people standing outside, and I saw this tree. I don't know what made it fall. I don't know. There wasn't an earthquake, but it's definitely a little bit of light. Light sprinkling high. Yeah, and these are the freaking policemen who want to do an interview. But don't worry, Antero, my neighbor, hooked me up with his uh, balcony. Yeah. Mother of Lord of mercy, it's pouring out here. Ooh, did somebody leave weed on this thing? What is that? I just bought that truck. Oh. Oh. Can we just talk about how fire my outfit is right now? Yeah, you see that. You already know what the f going on. This weather out here right now is brutal. Tropical Storm Bertha right now. It's probably not the name of it, but it's definitely a tropical storm. <gasps> my feet are soaking wet. How am I supposed to get past this effing puddle? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need Noah's Ark to cross this right now. <gasps> oh. Ew, there is literally nothing worse than the feeling of wet socks or wet clothes. That is going fast. They are taking the tree down now. That's a big ass tree. They have been out here for hours. What is the reporter tag reporting to you? Why? What is going on over here? It's a suck. How do you feel? Not good. Somebody pull me. The cap was like the door. Say. Y te dije que que tu coche. Yeah. Se quemó. No, they, the tree got down. Yeah. Todavía vas a usarlo? No. no. Yeah. Ya te llamaste um, insurance? Yeah. Y qué qué dijeron? Total damage. Uh -huh. They say it's not possible. Can fix. Te van a cobrar? No? Los árboles no cobran? No, it's the, for the owner. The owner of the tree has to cover it. Oh my god, I just got a fire interview. It's the owner of the car right there. 
here. <laughs> okay, they got one part of the tree. You see that crane? Wow, that part is huge. Can you see that right there? That's a big ass tree. I know. That's some pretty hefty damage. Yes, I can get barely stopped because the tree is there and it's not possible. Do you usually park there? No, never. <laughs> I never like parking that corner because, you know, from, from the sun it's very close. Yeah. But yesterday is an open space, and so I'm gonna park for a little bit and I move later. Oh man. I almost to the store, I almost gone, like maybe 10 minutes before, maybe not, not happened, but you never know. Really? Yeah. Was there anything in the car that you liked? No. Like nothing important? I got in my car seat for my babies, but nothing important. So I... It's a really tall tree. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I swear. You're gonna go on my YouTube. Nobody ever believes me when I tell them that I just work at YouTube. How How old is your baby? I got three babies. Oh wow. 10, 11, 8, and 6. El mío tiene uno año. Yeah. Ooh, look, they're lifting it. Oh my god, I am freaking double cameraing right now. Oh man, this is quality footage, San Clemente. Honestly, everybody should be thanking me. On scene TV should be calling me. Don't. Oh my god, lady, you're ruining the shot. Oh, he's cute. Right up the boss, man. <laughs> wow, that's a big tree. That's the last piece. 3,000 what? Pounds? That right there? Oh my gosh. That's a fat piece. That's 110. Oh my gosh. Be careful, Angel! Dude, that 3,000 pounds will crush him! That truck can carry 3,000 pounds? That's more than 3,000 pounds in the truck. Oh my gosh, this is a high tension moment. Everybody, everybody in Argentina, Spain, the UK, South Africa. Oh my gosh, this is what's going on on my street. That's my friend right there, the one with his foot on the tree stump. They said that that piece right there weighed 3,000 pounds. And that's his car. Oof. He wants to know my YouTube channel. He doesn't know. He doesn't know how big I am. He doesn't know he's going to make it on national TV. And these guys won't even, won't even interview. I want to go get over there and see the dirt that's pulled up beside the car. Do you know how much the tree weighed? That part did. So a total. Oh. No. How much that tree weigh all together? I probably guess around 30, 40,000 pounds. Wow. Were you here last night? Yeah, we were here last night again. Are you on call 24-7? Yeah, so we contract with the city of San Clemente. So anything that falls into the street, we have to clear it. They called you? What were you doing? Eating dinner with your family? It's very unfortunate. Yeah, it's all good. I've done this plenty of times. <laughs> Is this the biggest tree? No, no. What's the biggest tree you worked on? Uh, we actually have a new tree in Ball of Pico from the Toledo Golf Course. What kind of tree was this? Uh, Stone Pine. We had a new tree and that thing covered the entire westbound four lanes of traffic. How long did it take to clear? Here last night? The... About three, uh, like two hours. Do you have to clear out that 
grass? Yeah, we'll probably have to run the stuff out. You'll do that now? Uh, no, that's all the stuff's out of the way and stuff like that. Thanks for doing an interview. He refused. No worries, no worries. He's the owner. It says Rod and his name's Matthew. Yeah, my grandfather. Grandfather. Oh! Tabitha. Tabitha? Yeah. What's your name? I'm Casey. Casey. Wow, guys, that was a freaking quality interview. Yeah. Ten grand in the back of that car. The back of the car weighs ten. No, the, all that wood. Yeah. Ten thousand pounds. That would crush my toe. <laughs> flat. That would do more than just crush it. Make it flat. <laughs> Is this the biggest tree you guys have worked on? No. no. Let me see. That's his truck. That's your truck. Yeah. <laughs> Don't park in the trees no more, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't even gonna park there. And right before he was like, I was like 10 minutes away from going to the store. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Any more? <laughs> I, I Insurance know. though, huh? Yeah, but take care of it. Yep. They say it's not a little damage. When I saw it, I was like, I don't know. Bye. I love you, thanks for interviewing. How much does that truck cost? That one's right here, like uh, 180,000. That's a house in Oklahoma. <laughs> Bitch, are you talking shit right now? You can say my truck is very good. Never have a problem. <laughs> yeah. I have it for like three years. And then I'll better boy. Y ahora que vas a hacer? But a new one, the same one. So your eyes the best for me. I like it. Dude, there's a freaking ass hose. She was letting me hold this umbrella. It's not even fucking raining. All these construction people, all these tree people. Matt, you were letting me hold an umbrella and it wasn't even raining. It was, it was dribbling. You didn't say shit. It had a sprinkle. It wasn't sprinkle. For like 20 minutes. Okay, this oh, is Alex. Wow, you're just gonna leave without saying bye for sure. <laughs> bye. You too. Okay. Rod's Tree Service, call them. I kind of forgot to like film an intro when I was outside, but anyways, um, I made Jose a GoFundMe for any costs that he might incur that insurance won't cover. Um, so I'm gonna leave the link down in my description down below and let's try to help him out. I've already started it. It's been active for a couple hours now. I shared it on my Twitter. So if you guys can at least share the link, that would be great. And let's just try to help Jose out because he has three kids and he's gotta feed them. So let's try to help a brother out. Thanks for watching my video.